successive differentiation. Successive <coughs> differentiation. So you remember the formula for differentiation? What is d by dx of constant? Zero. What is derivative of x raised to n? Derivative of root x? Derivative of 1 upon root x? So, to begin this chapter, we will have to list out all the formulae. d by dx of <coughs> constant is 0. d by dx of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1. d by dx of root x is 1 upon 2 root x. d by dx of 1 upon root x is actually d by dx of x raised to minus half, which is minus half x raised to minus 3 by 2. d by dx of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square. d by dx of log x is 1 upon x. d by dx of e raised to x is e raised to x d by dx of a raised to x is a raised to x into log a. Then we have d by dx of sin x is cos x. d by dx of sin ax is a into cos ax. d by dx of sin of <coughs> ax plus b will be sin's derivative is cos of ax plus b into the derivative of this. So it is again a cos of ax plus b. d by dx of cos x is minus sin x. d by dx of tan x is sec square x. d by dx of sec x is sec x tan x. d by dx of cosec x is minus cosec x cot x. d by dx of cot x is minus cos x square x. d by dx of sin inverse x is 1 upon root of 1 minus x square. d by dx of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square. This will be the minimum set that we will require. If you know it, fine. Otherwise, make a note. And of course, d by dx of u into v is u dv by dx plus v du by dx. And d by dx of u upon v will be v du by dx minus u dv by dx whole thing upon this square. These are the minimum formulae we will require to start with the next topic called as successive differentiation. Okay, Make a note and then we will start with the topic.